हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल सी द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लैटरल सरफेसेस ऑफ द सॉलिड्स एंड वेरी फर्स्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लैटरल सरफेस ऑफ सॉलिड्स विल टेक अ पिरामिड सो व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम सो ए स्क्वेयर पिरामिड एज ऑफ बेस 40 एम एम एक्सिस लेंथ सेवेंटी एम एम स्टैंड ऑन एच पी विथ टू साइड्स ऑफ द बेस पैरल टू वे पी इट इज कट बाय एन ए आई पी इनक्लाइंड एट सिक्सटी डिग्री सो इट इज सिक्सटी डिग्री टू द एच पी एंड पासिंग थ्रू अ पॉइंट ऑन द एक्सिस फोर्टी एम एम फ्रॉम बेस सो इट इज द प्रॉब्लम ड्रॉ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सर्फेसेस लैटरल सर्फेसेस ऑफ द पिरामिड सो इन द डेवलपमेंट फर्स्ट वॉट वी हैव टू डू सो वी हैव टू ड्रॉ इट्स बेसिक स्टेप्स मीन्स सॉलिड्स फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू फर्स्ट देन फॉर ड्रॉइंग द सॉलिड्स फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू फर्स्ट वॉट विल डू सो इनिशियली विल ड्रॉ द रेफरेंस लाइन सो द रेफरेंस लाइन शुड बी लिटल बिट लाइटर ओनली देन आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग दिस रेफरेंस लाइन बिलो इट वॉट वे हव टू डू सो बाय लिविंग सम गैप वी कैन मार्क दिट्स वर्टिकल लाइन एंड सो हियर इट इज मेन्शन दैट स्क्वेर पिरामिड एंड हैविंग टू साइड्स अ बेस पैरल टू वी पी एनी थिंग विच इज पैरल टू वी पी मीन्स इन द टॉप यू इट विल बी पैरल टू रेफरेंस लाइन सो इफ आई मार्क टू साइड्स ऑफ ए स्क्वेर परपेंडिकुलर देन रिमेनिंग टू विल बी पैरल डायरेक्टली सो इट्स परपेंडिकुलर now it's parallel so it is going to be 40 and once we mark this it is 40 and again this is also 40 it is also 40 and if pyramid is there first task i will suggest is what join the diagonals so both the diagonals it is the top view of a square pyramid so it will be apex it will be apex and if we consider that it is a it is b it is c it is d so this is the top view of a square pyramid then for drawing its front view what we'll do for drawing its front view take the projections from the top view as per the base is concern only take up to x y line and from the apex you take this projection correct and initially we don't know how much so that uh, pyramid is cut so initially don't make everything dark so instead of that you can make it light so it's front view in the front view what is the height of the pyramid 70 mm if it is 70 mm so 20 40 60 70 you can mark this as 70 ha huh. and this will be the apex so once you mark the apex then 
of the best part is so it is the apex and from the apex you join this base point join it like this similarly on this side also from the apex join this point so it is the light view of the front view of a cone then again to what is told that it is cut by AIP means that cutting plane is inclined and it is making 60 degree angle with HP means any plane if it makes 60 degree angle with HP it will be seen in the front view so before that first we have to mark what is the from where it is passing so it is passing at a distance of 40 means 10 so from this from this point that cutting plane is passing and its inclination is 60 degree so if it is 60 degree so either you can draw like this if this edge is making 6 30 degree then this will make 60 degree 60 degree and passing through a point on the axis 40 mm from the base so it is 30 means this edge is making 60 degree angle so what we have to do mark the cutting plan line like this like this this is the cutting plane line means above portion is remote then uh, what i'll suggest first you make the whatever this retained portion of this solid is there so that you have to keep it dark then how we can keep it dark this line from this it is dark similarly this edge only this lower portion is remaining from this portion it is dark correct and this is dark it is dark for the pyramid so this portion is remaining and its development we have to draw so in the front view this a b it will be now a dash b dash and this is going to be c dash d dash these two points and apex will be o at this place and you can mark this o also o dash to o dash so it is going to be axis it is going to be axis so these are the front view and top view of this solid then i'll suggest give this dimensions it is very important while giving the dimension if at all some mistake is there that can be also corrected so it is a square so you can write this dimension as a 40 is this side of the square is 40 and height that means axis is 70 and this point on the axis it is at a distance of 40 so these three dimensions we have to give it is 70 and from this base it is 40 means in drawing each and everything 
in the solution itself we have to tell then afterwards through this center means that is the apex mark the horizontal line so this line is the reference line x y means whenever we are drawing see that uh, always you keep the symmetry object looks better this is the reference line it is top view with dimension front view and the point all the dimensions we have given now the speciality is what uh, in the development each and every line is true length now when square is placed like this having edges perpendicular or parallel to vp then outer edges in the front view those are not true length those are not true length then how to get the true length so for that what you have to do you have to use the compass then how to use the compass either oc either oc or od so this slant edge initially you have to rotate like this let's consider it is c1 it is c1 and then from this from this mark or shift this point c1 so here also many students make the mistake they rotate from this point you have to rotate it from o apex and shift it on reference line and once you shift it on reference line then what you have to do then again join this with apex join it with apex and this is what the true length this is what the true length and this true length we have to use in the development in the development this true length means if you draw with earlier edge that overall development will be wrong and for development of a pyramid it's very simple so even though you can use the same place or so i'll suggest or from any point so if you wish to draw little bit away because on upper side this portion is there then what i'll suggest shift it little bit very light line here is the top view and front view with a cutting plane line section line making 60 degree angle and passing through a point 40 mm now we have to draw its development for the development always we need the true length that also we have drawn then uh, so for drawing the first initially mark in the development light lines so how to mark those light lines mark this apex somewhere over here and after the apex so what you are supposed to do take the length is equal to true length in the compass take the length is equal to true length in the compass it is a true length if space is over here you can mark the arc and development you can draw it this place but you can choose any point like this you can mark the arc like this you can mark the arc like this and once we mark the arc then afterwards consider one of the generator like this so it is the apex and let us consider we are opening from a then it is a it is a and then in the compass take 40 mm 40 mm how you have to take so the size of the square pyramid then from a from a you have to cut the four arcs 
four arcs on this one then shift the center right to means over here then again with this 40 mark the second arc then it's third one two three and when square pyramid is there so it's fourth it is fourth and then join all this with the help of scale one it's second then it is third it is fourth and again this is a so these are the generators means in the development you have to draw like this it is a b c d again a oa oa will be twice in the development then afterwards so whatever its base is not cut then it is better to mark in the develop development directly the ba this base like this so you have to join a to b a to b then b to c then so it's pyramid we have to join this with straight edges let's see then <coughs> what you have to do transfer so wherever it cuts this section line for that also you give some names how we can give some names for example so this point is there where it cuts so that point on a let us consider one and on b it's two one two then on c it is three as well as four so these four points first you have to shift on true length line first we have to shift it on true length line like this very light first on true length line then in the compass you have to take this distance from O to this O to this and from this O similarly from this O mark this distance also so on true length line and with the help of that also from this point mark the arc then we'll mark these points how we can mark these points so wherever one is there on a so this one its distance is this larger one so it is one and here also it's one then two two is on b so this point is two then 3 and 4 it is on c and d but 3 is over here and 4 is over here and all these points we have to join with dark edge how we can join it with dark edge now observe it very carefully initially i'll join 1 2 2 dark then Two, 
Toto. Toto 3. This is like this. One Toto. Toto 3. 3 to 4. 3 to 4. And 4 to again 1. 4 to 1. So these are the lines. Then <coughs> afterwards, so whatever the remaining portion is there, what we have to do? We have to make it dark. So this part up to A. Then rotate it over here, this edge. So this remaining portion, we have to make it dark then rotate it it is dark and rotate it it is dark this portion one two three four one so this is the development of a lateral surface of this pyramid so this additional portion we can remove little bit and again what is remaining that writing the angle also so whatever this line is there it is making 60 degree angle so that angle is 60 degree so like this we can draw the development of a pyramid so this is the top view along with dimension 40 then front view so how that cutting plane cuts then upper portion is removed or it is made it very light lower retained portion is there and its development we have to draw in the development we'll get like this if we change the point of opening and then again this shape uh, in the development get, may get changed so each and every line in the development it is going to be true lens or it represents actual lens so like this you can prepare the developments of any pyramid so only care we have to take that outer generator if it is not in true length like this we have to rotate we have to get the true length and with the help of true length we have to cut the arc and then with the base length by cutting the arc we can draw the development of any pyramid so here instead of square it may be a pentagon hexagon like that so it was the complete procedure of drawing the development of a square pyramid thank you